Right, October, that can happen. It can, and there's nothing like that in our forecast. I can assure you of that, but we do need to bring up that S word. Snow is going to enter your Denver forecast potentially for Wednesday night. I'm going to kind of outline what we're watching for you here in just a second. Uh, temperatures are running below normal today across the state. It's much like yesterday. 40s and low 50s on the eastern plains and western slope with 20s and some 30s in the high country. So you definitely need some winter attire today if you're out and about. Ray, our weather watcher in Glenwood Springs is 35 degrees and he's reporting some flurries and up to an inch on some of the grassy areas there around his house. Here's the storm system that brought the wind yesterday and the cold front that brought the severe weather to Texas, including that tornado in Dallas. Believe it or not, this low is still close enough to Colorado that our eastern counties is still feeling a very strong uh, wraparound flow. So we have sustained wind speeds 20 to 30 35 miles per hour and gusts even higher than that, approaching 50 at times. The rest of the state, we have pockets of wind, but I'd probably call it a little bit more breezy than just downright windy like it was yesterday. High country, you still have a winter weather advisory through 9 o'clock, uh, continuing to see some snow falling up here with some winter driving conditions in the northern and central mountains. As we approach 9 o'clock, the activity should decrease. The rest of us should stay dry. Honestly, I want to throw this in. Can't rule out a stray shower here in the front range tonight as a little batch of energy crosses, but it would be stray if it popped up. A little break in the mountains overnight, and then tomorrow, watch this, late in the day, here comes another surge of moisture. This will be out ahead of the storm up here in the Gulf of Alaska. Watch how fast this thing dives into the Pacific Northwest. It will be coming through Colorado on Wednesday and we are forecasting snow. I want to show you a couple of models before I go into full detail. Please note these will probably change and this storm is moving too fast to be anything significant. In fact, the RPM model says for the metro area it's mostly just flurries. But let me step out of the way and show you the North American model followed by the GFS model and we'll end with the European model. And all of them say a couple of inches possible in the front range with some slightly higher totals in the foothills and areas to the south of Denver. So we'll watch this and see how it comes together. 50s today, east and west with 30s and 40s in the high country. Here's your five-day forecast. So uh, warm up for tomorrow and then a front on Wednesday. Looks like rain changing to snow Wednesday night. A quick shot overnight into Thursday and then we'll warm up for Friday. Alan, I want to stress regardless of what falls, nighttime snowfalls are high impact to the travel. So yep. uh, one inch or four inches, it still can mean some bad roads. <laughs> <Get real laughs> All right, Chris, thanks a lot. Sure. Hey,